China is making incredible strides in this field, defying restrictions and working towards self-reliance. From breakthroughs in DUV and EUV technology to the rise of domestic companies challenging established players, the Chinese lithography machine industry is on the verge of a major transformation. Welcome to Revel Technology, where cutting edge meets limitless potential in the world of innovation. So buckle up and get ready to dive into the fascinating world of chip manufacturing and the incredible progress happening right here in China. You might already be aware of the news about the U.S. ban on Chinese EUV technology. Lately, the United States has been putting more pressure on China, especially in industries like semiconductors, AI, and high-performance computing. Chips are at the core of these industries, so implementing restrictions has become a significant tactic. For instance, Huawei made a name for itself as a global leader in 5G technology, which caught the attention of the United States, leading to cheap bans. The key lies in the lithography machines. China has been working hard in this field, and recently they've made some exciting breakthroughs with their own domestic lithography machines. It's quite surprising to see the hidden potential behind China's patience, leaving the Biden team feeling unprecedented pressure. The global market has recognized the rise of Made in China, and the United States understands the importance of lithography machines in chip manufacturing. High-end lithography machines are vital for producing top-notch chips. That's why controlling access to high-end lithography machines can hinder the development of Chinese chips. In the past, there were some successful lithography machine companies in the U.S., but due to mismanagement, they went bankrupt. Right now, the major players in the global lithography machine market are ASML from the Netherlands, Nikon and Canon from Japan, and Shanghai Microelectronics from China. Shanghai Microelectronics, however, can only reach a maximum of 90 nanometers, while Nikon and Canon mainly focus on low-end lithography machines. But when it comes to lithography machines, ASML dominates the conversation holding about 90% of the market share worldwide. And you know what? It's not only Huawei that's taking this seriously. Ever since the U.S. started imposing chip restrictions on China, domestic companies and research institutions have woken up to the significance of developing their own core technologies. It's like a wave of chip autonomy sweeping through China, and the lithography machine industry is no exception. The thing is, the tighter the restrictions on lithography machines get, the more determined China becomes to break through in this field. Ren Jingfei from Huawei has been well aware of this for a while now, which is why he's been pushing for more investment in research and development. He's not holding any illusions about relying on American technology, that's for sure. That's why Huawei allocates a substantial portion of its resources to R&D. But it's not just about Huawei. Domestic enterprises and scientific research institutions in China have truly realized the importance of having control over their core technologies. This realization has sparked a newfound drive for cheap autonomy. It's pretty remarkable to see how this determination has spread across different industries, including the lithography machine sector. China is determined to make its mark and become self-reliant. Oh, and that's not all. Apart from Shanghai Microelectronics, there are other companies and research institutions in the industrial chain that are working tirelessly towards breakthroughs. Let me give you a couple of examples. Your Precision Tech has gone ahead and independently developed a dual workpiece platform for the core subsystem of the lithography machine. This move has shattered ASML's technological monopoly and made them the second company in the world to master this crucial technology. It's a remarkable achievement, no doubt. Then there's Kui Hong Yuan, a company that has achieved something impressive in the realm of lithography machines. They've successfully conquered the DUVRF light source, which is an immersion 193 nanometer excimer laser. They're also actively working on developing the 13.5 nanometer EUV light source. 
It's worth mentioning that they're the only high-energy Exiber laser R&D and manufacturing enterprise in China and ranked third in the world. That's quite an accomplishment. And let's not forget about Gawang Optical. They're diligently working on the Earth Immersion Lithography Exposure Optical System at the 28 nanometer node. And things are progressing quite smoothly for them. It's great to see their dedication and progress in this field. I should also mention the significant contribution of the Harbin Institute of Technology, which is one of the esteemed seven sons of natural defense. They are actively involved in the research and development of domestic lithography machines. Just this past February, the Carbon Institute of Technology made waves by successfully developing a high-speed ultra-precision aerial interferometer. Their achievement was recognized with a gold medal at the prestigious World Photon Conference. It's truly inspiring to see these advancements and breakthroughs coming from different players in China's lithography machine industry. It's a testament to their determination and commitment to achieving self-reliance in this critical technology domain. You know what's even more impressive? The latest breakthroughs made by Chinese companies in lithography machine technology. Take, for example, the Harbin Institute of Technology. In April of this year, they achieved yet another milestone by successfully developing the electric energy conversion plasma circuit technology which enables the realization of the DPPUV light source. Although there's still a gap to bridge in meeting ASML's EUV light source standards, the fact that the technology has been realized is a significant achievement. After all, the light source is heart of any lithography machine. Currently, the most powerful EUV light source comes from the American company Simmer, which is renowned for producing ultra-high-end EUV light sources. ASML, the industry giant, relies on Simmer for their EUV technology. However, with ASML's access to Simmer's EUV technology restricted by the United States, China has taken matters into its own hands. Chinese institutions and companies, including the Harbin Institute of Technology, the Chinese Academy of Sciences High Energy Synchronous Light Source Equipment, and Tsinghua University's SSMB Light Source have successfully conquered EUV light source technology. These breakthroughs have laid a solid foundation for China's domestic EUV capabilities. It's not just about tackling DUV technology. Chinese companies are also determined to overcome the challenges in EUV technology. In fact, there is exciting news on the horizon. Shanghai Microelectronics is currently testing their 28 nanometer lithography machine, and the introduction of EUV technology may be closer than expected. It's safe to say that even ASML and the United States might be taken by surprise. The tighter the chip restrictions become, the more determined Chinese lithography machine manufacturers are to make breakthroughs at an accelerated pace. It's no wonder that ASML is starting to change its attitude. Some foreign media outlets have even claimed that a Chinese lithography machine puzzle is nearly complete. The progress is truly remarkable. The rapid progress and breakthroughs in China's lithography machine industry are paving the way for a new era of technological self-reliance. From challenging technological monopolies to conquering DUV and EUV light sources, Chinese companies and research institutions have shown unwavering determination and impressive innovation. As the puzzle of Chinese lithography machines nears completion, the global landscape of chip manufacturing is poised for a significant transformation. So, keep your eyes on the horizon because China's remarkable journey towards technological independence is far from over. Now we'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the advancements in China's lithography machine industry? Are you excited about the potential transformation in cheap manufacturing? Engage with us by leaving a comment, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the notification bell for regular updates. Keep watching, stay inspired, and get ready for more exciting discoveries. See you in our next episode.